Hey guys, I'm back with another video and in this video again I'm going to talk about collection view in .NET MAUI. So recently I was working on a bus booking .NET MAUI application. There I had on that seat selection screen where we had the available seats on the screen. So I had used collection view for that and user can select multiple seats from that collection view. Okay. So for that I have used this multi selection from collection view so we have two approaches for that one is we can have our own custom selection deselection logic which we can maybe use app gesture recognizers on the individual items inside the collection view or we can use the collection views built in properties events and commands so it has selection mode property and then it has selection change and all these things so we can use those in this video, I'm going to show you how to use those inbuilt collection views, events, and commands and properties to handle multi selection. So, for this, I have this solution here. I have created this new project, Maui Collection View dot multi selection. So, this is a .NET 9, .NET Maui application. Here, I have created this model folder, and here is this one model, seat model, which has one property, seat number, and this seeding factory method which actually returns a list of seats then i have created this view model seat view model and i'm using community toolkit.mvvm in this i have installed community toolkit.mvvm package inside this project and in this seat view model i have this observable collection of seats which will show all the available seats and here in the constructor i'm directly assigning these and getting the values from seat model.get seat then I have this observable property for selected seat number. So whatever seats user has selected, all those should be. Then I have simply registered the seat view model in the Maui program and I have registered main page as well at singleton because inside the main page, I have injected the seat view model. Then I have set binding context to this view model so that we can use the seat view model directly on the main page.xaml. On this main page.xaml, what I have first thing I have added these two namespaces for models and view model. Then I have set data type for this page, which is going to be seat view model because this is the binding context for this page. Then I have this box view, and then this again one box view. So these are kind of simple lines to give some spacing. Then I have this horizontal stack layout. With one label is selected seats, the second label with selected seat number. So whatever seats we have selected, all those are going to be displayed here, comma separated seat number. Then here I have this collection view. Inside this, I have this item source, which is this binding seats, which is our observable collection, this one. Then inside this, I have this item template where we have data template. I have set the data type to the seat model. Then simple border with margin 10, padding 10 and round rectangle T 10. And then inside this, I just have a label with text the seat number it will show all the seats. Let's quickly see how is it right now. Then we are going to work on that collection mode and all that. All right. So it came and we have the selected seats and then we have this A1, A2, A3, all these seat numbers. Right now. I can't select anything because the default selection mode is none on this collection view. Inside this, if we say we have a selection mode property, which has these three available values, none, single and multiple. So we are going to use multiple, save it. Let's try to hot reload. Now, if I select it, you see, I am able to select the values, the items from this collection view. All right. But right now, if you see, this looks ugly, this, this yellowish background color, which is overflowing from this border, this collection view item. So this is a platform's default behavior. We can override this behavior. For this, I already have previous video on my channel. There I showed how to change this default behavior. So that is inside the selection color. I'm going to drop the link of that video in the description box so you can check that video out maybe before continuing on this one you can check that what i'll do i'll simply copy the code from that 
project directly so here we can achieve that using visual state manager we're going to copy a visual state manager and i'll add it inside here in collection view data template border inside this border i'm going to have this visual state manager here we have visual state manager dot visual state groups here we have visual state group inside this i'm having this visual state with the name selected so collection view has a selected state to this single item if it is selected then this styling is going to be applied then we have a normal state that means if item is not selected then this state is going to be applied so by default visual state manager visual states are getting gets applied to the parent container right now this is inside border so these are going to be applied to border on border we are saying that if it is selected set background color to green if it is not selected set background color to white so this is the default behavior the default white background color we are using then when the color selected color is green background color is green we have this label heat number so this should be in white color because the green color does not show directly if the text is in black color and background is green it will not be properly visible that's why so what i am doing here in this setter we are setting label dot text color to white but we have one more thing target name so we need to tell that this visual state manager this setter should get applied to this label so for this case we are going to have a x dot name on this thing let's maybe call it seat number copy it change this target name to this save it now we will have that selection color handled here let's quickly see all right app is running now if we see you see we can select these cool great so selection is fine now we need to have some way by which we can get to know that what all items are selected from this collection view so i'll stop it right now if we see the collection view is using the seats which is a collection of the seat model let's go to our view model here we need one property uh, because we can select multiple items so it should be a collection of seat model so let's maybe have seat model array or list of seat model it's up to you whatever you use and then here we'll say selected seats maybe selected seats okay and then i'm going to have a command here relay command so private void seat selected something like this let's put a breakpoint here we have the selected seats so we need to map the selected seats to our collection view so here on this collection view we have a property that is selected items here we can say binding and selected seats then we have this method seat selected so it should get triggered whenever we are selecting or unselecting any seat because inside this we are going to modify the selected seat so first thing this should be a relay command so that we can use it as a command in our main page.xaml here we'll say selection change command we'll say binding and then the seat selected command save it and now it should work but it will not work let me show you but first we'll see if we see we have set selection mode to multiple we have set selected items to this list and we are using the selection change command to the seat selected command Finally, it should work. We have a collection where the selected seat should come, and we have this uh, command. Let's try to run it. Let's see if we are getting this command is getting triggered, and we are getting the items in the selected seat. All right. So now, if I see, 
I clicked on this A1, this command got hit. If I check selected seats, it is null. Should have one value, right? Continue. We can see this selected. Let's try one more. B1. It selected. Command got triggered. Selected seats is still null. So that means command is working, but somehow this this item is not working. Now next thing if you will see, let's say maybe the selected seats is here because this is a collection which can change. You would think maybe list will not work. Observe your collection will work here. So this is a collection which can change. Let's have a default value as well. Now let's try if it works this time. If I run it. Because the selected seat is a collection, we can add or remove values from there. So, observer collection is the best choice here. So the, that is how why this observer collection type is there. To make some collection observable, we can add or remove items from there. I'm again selecting this selected seats now has count zero. But this event got triggered. It should have been one value. We select one more. This is again count zero. This is not working. So, in order to get it working, we need to change it to object. Now, what have we changed? We have this collection which should be a public observable collection of type object, not the concrete type of the items of the collection. Now, if we run this, We have this here. If I select A1, and here I can see count 1, which is this A1. I continue. Let's try to select A4. Now, this selected seats, it has two items. Continue. Let's say B1. Now, this selected seats has three items. Continue. Now, if I click on this A4 again, so it is going to get deselected. Clicked on it. If I see selected seat, now it has two items A1 and B1. Continue. We are good. Okay. Now we need to access the items inside the seat selected. Before coming here, we know we have these items ready. We just check. But the problem is this is an observable collection of type object. But we need for our business logic or our operations, we need this to be of type seat model. So now whatever operation you want to do, you can do inside the seat selected. So the simplest way would be we can get seat in the selected seats. Now this seat is of type object. Here we can simply say seat is seat model, your concrete model. So now we have used pattern matching to type cast it. To this now seat is object but this selected seat this will be of type seat model so you can access seat model the selected seat here actually and you can access simple seat number okay but for our case we are not performing any operation directly here what we need we just need to fill out the selected seat numbers i am going to comment this out for your reference what i will do I need selected seat numbers here. It should be a comma separated selected seat numbers. We have the selected seats observable collection. <coughs> Sorry. Here we'll say string dot join comma separated. And here we have the selected seats. From here we can say select s dot. I should be able to access seat number, but I am not able to because this S is of type object, it does not know about seat number. So we need to convert these selected seats of type observable collection to the seat model. So we are going to use link queue here. On the selected seats, we can say of type and simply seat model. Now it is going to typecast items to the seat model. Then we can simply apply select here. Now if I say S dot, I can access seat number. Because now this S is of type seat model. 
we are good now save it i removed the breakpoint because now we don't need that breakpoint if the selected seat numbers is getting populated with the correct seats comma separated then we would know that breakpoint came here and we can see the values let's quickly run it and let's see it is here let's try a1 we can see this a1 here a3 comma a3 b1 b2 c4 d1 d2 and if i see we can see these comma separated values here now pay attention if i click on this a1 again it is going to be deselected so it should get removed from the selected seeds and i clicked on it and now we can see a3 b1 it is starting from here right so this is working so this is how we can achieve multi selection in a collection view in a dotnet maui application all right so that's all for this video please do let me know in the comment if you guys have used multiple selection with collection view in dotnet maui of course and you have you knew about this all right so that's all for this video please like this video share this video subscribe my channel i'll be back soon with some other cool video till then bye bye